Hello, Cancer. Hope you all are doing well. This is a general reading for you. Messages of light and love come forward here for Cancer Spirit. What do they need to know for their highest good and for the highest good of all? Wow. First card out, we have beliefs. Similar or clashing belief systems can bring, your, bring you together or keep you apart. So for some of you, I'm picking up that you try to talk to this individual about your psychic ability or your intuition or some of the things spiritual, and they're not buying it. They're, they're, it's almost like you feel like this person's judging you at times for talking about some of your spiritual things. They're just not on the same page with you. We have travel, movement, meeting, adventure. Be ready for the new experiences. We have loss, loss of self and identity. Discover your true self again. This person tried to be highly influential towards you, try to convince you of things or try to make you feel like what you're feeling intuitively isn't accurate. And so it's time for you to reconnect with yourself again. For some of you, I feel like you wonder if maybe you were going crazy, that this person is accurate about things and that what you were feeling wasn't true. But you know better here, Cancer. You know what's truth. It feels like they're gaslighting you. Whoever this is that you're connecting with, it feels like they're gaslighting you. And this could be family members as well. This doesn't necessarily have to be a love interest. We have an eight of wands. The fountain card is here. Wow. We have an, a queen of wands. This person feels that you're pulling away. They feel that you're gaining some independence here. Bottom of the deck, a seven of cups, nine of cups, two of swords, having to make a decision about what you're going to do in this situation, nine of wands, the death card. So there's fear surrounding disconnecting from this individual that you're with because you wonder if you're going to make it on your own here. You wonder if things aren't going to like if it's better for you to stay with this individual, they seem highly convincing about their knowledge about things. They seem highly convincing about what they know, um, but yet it's different than how you feel. You're on two different pages here and you feel the universe is trying to get you to make a choice about what to do, but there's fear surrounding it. Nine of wands. You're, you're trying to consider your options and you have answers coming your way here with the Nine of Cups. This is wish granted. So you may be reaching out, praying to God or the universe for answers in your situation about how you can gain resolution about what to do next. You don't want to leave this person behind, but you feel like you're just not aligned with each other. You may be being called to go travel, like the travel card says. This will give you some perspective away from this individual. I feel like a lot of you here just need to take a break, take a step back from this person that you're connecting with so that you can get some perspective. So you can gain some clarity on your situation without having them trying to manipulate or maneuver around you, kind of having their influence over you, separating out from them or taking a break from them, going on a trip of some kind will help you gain that perspective and gain that knowledge that you've maybe been blocked from even. Why is this eight of wands here? We have a page of cups, judgment card. We have a five of swords. So you may have argued with this person as well. This is a card of conflict and argument. They may feel guilty or you may feel guilty about your communication with them, but this person may have triggered you in some way. Page of Cups, I feel like this person doesn't have a lot of emotional energy to give to you. 
I just feel they're highly manipulative. <laughs> You're dealing with someone who's kind of on an immature level. They're not quite emotionally mature enough to handle a conversation, especially in relation to spiritual belief systems. I just think that this person feels like they know better than you and they really don't. It's like their ego is being triggered and there are a lot of, they do a lot of talking without listening. That is exactly what these cards are telling me that this person just talks at you without wanting to listen to what you have to say. I just feel like this person has a really big ego for no reason whatsoever. Why is this fountain card here? The hanged man is here. I do feel like this person has kept you stuck. I feel like you're starting to realize that they are the block to your progress. Your progress in life, nine of wands here. Definitely have that fear mentality of what's going to happen if I leave this person behind or if I separate from them. Three of Cups, spending time with friends is going to help you with this situation. Three of Cups is all about reuniting with friends, having fun with friends. And they help you kind of ground yourself. They help you get back to reality. They help, help you realize that you're not going crazy, that you do what you are saying is true because this you're living under this person's illusion that you've been dealing with here. They want things their way. They want control over your relationship, but I don't feel like this true person is a true partner to you. So gaining some, some perspective with friends or connecting with friends, even long lost friends is helping you gain that clarity that you're needing in the situation. Am I going crazy here? No, you're not. You're, this person that you're dealing with is highly manipulative. They want things their way. They don't listen to you. They're not willing to consider other perspectives because they're so dead set on thinking they know everything. Why is this queen of wands here? This person's left you in this fear state that you can't, that you can't move on without them because They've made you, they've convinced you that you need them, but you don't. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Two of Cups. So you may be in a higher level of commitment with this person, but you may be working towards, like some of you may be married and you're working towards divorce because it came out in reverse. I feel like a lot of you are here starting to realize that you're better out, off on your own. Queen of Wands is a single, a single energy, male or female, it doesn't matter. It's just... This is an energy of someone who's independent. I feel like a lot of you here are fear that if you let go of this individual, that you're going to have regret about it. But I feel like that's not the case at all. And I'm not trying to tell people to leave their relationships. But I, what I am say, trying to say is that if you feel like your gut is telling you and you've tried really hard to make things work with this person and they haven't, they haven't shown you that they're willing to work with you, over and over and over again, the two of you aren't aligned, then what are you waiting for is the question here. I feel like it's going to be better than what you expected as you leave this person behind because they're keeping you blocked. Ooh, that one wanted to pop out. The sun is here. I feel like a lot of you felt like your happiness was with this person, but you just haven't been happy. You haven't been your usual self. And as you separate from them, you start to gain that spark of who you are again. The sun's starting to illuminate the situation. Seven of Wands. This person's highly defensive when you go to talk to them as well. They don't want to have a conversation without getting into an argument with you. It's really hard to have a normal rational conversation with them. I think that the writing is on the wall here with this person. It's just a matter of time before you're going to get fed up with it to the point of, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. That's the energy I'm feeling in this situation. I know a lot of you here are trying to consider what options you have for leaving this person behind, whether it's, especially if you are living together or you have finances together or something like that. Um, you're working on figuring that out at this moment. 
there's some fear-based decisions that you're having to make here. What if I don't make it? What if I become homeless? What if I don't have enough money to pay these bills? What if I, what if I, what if I do this or that? But I feel like the longer you stay with this individual, the, the more that it's going to weigh you down, the fact that they've blocked you, that your abundance is outside of this relationship, not with them. I feel like the answers you're looking for in terms of how to move this forward are showing up for you with the Nine of Cups. Finally, some answers start to show up here that you've been seeking. Seven of Swords. This person may also be a liar. You may have caught them in being dishonest with you. The longer time goes on, the more of these red flags start to show up. Five of Wands, they're combative with you. Especially if you ask them, hey, have you been like, what's going on? Like, why why do you lie about that situation? They start to get angry with you. They start to want to compete with you. Like, the star is here. I feel like a lot of you guys are spending time praying, hoping and wishing for things to change. Hoping and wishing things would change with them as well, and it just hasn't. It has not changed with them. You're getting the same energy over and over again, repeating itself. But I guess keep praying because the answers are showing up for you here, Cancer. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like button for me.